another Coffee with Kim, and I'm so excited to have Tim Bluefit Rammel with us. Um, I think we've done another Coffee with Kim before, Tim, and so I'm excited to have you back on and just Hi. have a conversation. How are you? I'm great. It's good to see you. Too. You look you look all bundled up. I'm so cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Man, it, it was no last was, night. Did it really? Yeah. It was like 76 degrees here uh, a couple days ago. Okay, was, now where are you again? I forgot where you're at. I'm in I'm in Northern California. I'm not uh, not too far from Napa, a little bit north of Napa. Up in, That's up very, Lake. very beautiful weather. How divine it, is that? It's It's been pretty nice. It's been hard to stay in the studio. Now, Tim, which tribal affiliation are you with? I forget. I'm Bad River Chippewa and oh. Comanche. Yeah. Okay. Very so cool. I'm, I'm north and south. I'm very conflicted. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like me. <laughs> very conflicted. <laughs> right. So what have you been up to? You know, I am super duper excited. I'm in the midst of a branding, a sub brand for Swaya. So that's almost complete. Excellent. We um, are super close in reference to developing an online marketplace. And so I'm excited. That's fantastic. That's exciting. You know, I, I think we all have to realize that this virtual thing is here to stay no matter what happens. Mm. you know, as far as physical markets, um, you know, the hardest part is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a hugger, you know, I mean, you don't know me that well, but I was just telling somebody, you know, the next time I see you at market, I'm going to hug you <laughs> and it might get uncomfortable. It's going to be that long. I mean, I'm just like going through withdrawals, but there's so many people who are really just missing the sense of community and, mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I think that we're all in that place of internet fatigue and just trying to An stay motivated. Another real thing, you know, internet fatigue. You know, how do you define that? I, I, I really don't know. So I think it makes it even more critical right now with online marketing. It, it's got to be that much easier to click and buy. Mm. You know, you got to do less clicks. You got to, you got to minimize the steps and and so <clears throat> i think it's an interesting thing that right now you know we really as as artists and and swaya too and you guys are doing it i mean i see it happening all the time mm -hmm. and that is we have to really prepare ourselves for the success that's going to happen for us in 2021 mm -hmm. we have to put ourselves in a position right now as hard as that is Right. You know, to invest in your art, to invest in your marketing, to invest in all these different things. Right. As hard as it is, if we're not ready to go, there's a lot of pent up. There's a lot of pent up uh, buying and and collectors out there, and and people that want to have those face to face connections again. And when that happens, it's going to be it's it's going to be success. Like, really, we haven't seen. I mean, in the short term, anyway. It's going to be a short-term success. It's going to help us get caught up, right. you know, very, very quickly, I think. Right. And so now is the time that we just have to really just prepare ourselves for that. We need to put ourselves in that position to be able to, um, to be able to accept it and capitalize on it. Right. Yeah. It's definitely, um, unlike anything that we've ever experienced. So I feel like there's a, a group of individuals who are being proactive and mm -hmm. they really are staying the course. And then we still have <clears throat> groups of people who um, really want this to be gone and want things to go back to the way that they are. And um, those are hard positions for, for even like for Swaya to be in, right? Um, mm -hmm. Just even, with regards to 2021, we get a lot of questions about, are we going to do Indian market? And how is this, you know, what are you, what are you thinking that's going to happen? And, you know, currently I'm on a task force where we're trying to develop COVID safe practices. Mm -hmm. And as I'm on this task force, it just becomes very apparent to me that we're not out of the water, 
that there is a lot of science behind this coronavirus and where it's going and what it's doing. And so, you know, trying to be optimistic, but also just the possibility that we could be in the same place that we were last year, that's that's a hard place for us to be as an organization. Yeah, I mean, I, I you know, we all hope to have mm-hmm. a physical market, you know? I mean, there's there's no, there's no substitute for for a physical in person right. market. Yeah. It's just not. It's such a great experience, not just not just for us as as artists. You know, we get to see our family and our community, and right. you know, and laugh and joke and share a meal and things like that, and and really be inspired by each other too. I think that's something that comes from the community. Is is we we have so much respect for each other as artists, but we we lift each other up with a project as big as Santa Fe Indian Market, you know, that means the go, no-go date comes earlier in the year. <laughs> you know, well, it's, it's so huge. Yeah, so one of the things that we're doing as an organization, and I love that you're interviewing me because not very many people interview me. <laughs> they don't get the 411, right? <laughs> but um, no, I think that as an organization, you know, the board and I are really... Um, being very thoughtful in what this, because it's outside of, it's outside of our control, right? This really is about the um, state of New Mexico and the state of where this coronavirus is, but hopefully by the end of March, the beginning of um, April, we'll have a really Mm -hmm. good um, understanding of where we're at and what we need to do. But yeah, and you know, it's just difficult because time is, Flying. We forget that 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 very thing that's going so quickly, that's our most valuable resource. Mm. You know, time never goes on sale, no matter how much money you have. Right. That's a true statement. But, <laughs> but, that too. but I'm getting I'm getting excited because I do actually have an in-person show. Two oh. of them. So um, I will be at the Herd Museum during in uh, market weekend, the first weekend of uh, March with several other invited artists. Um, right. We're going to be showing actually in the museum shop. So I'll be there with Victoria Adams. I'll be there with um, Daryl Dean and Rebecca Begay, um, Jesse Manangwa, Edison Cummings, Denise Wallace. So we're all going to be there in person, okay. like live for real. It's, yeah. it's I'm very excited because you know what? I have a deadline now. Yeah. I haven't yeah. had a deadline. Very important to artists, right? They love their deadlines. They love. No, it's story. a love hate thing. <laughs> you know, it's like you, you love to have them because that means you're producing. Right. But then it's like, you know, it's every year, you know, when you're, when you're coming down to, to any market at all, it's like, oh, I got to get that one more thing done, mm-hmm. you know? And that's when you, but, but, but you know what happens for me anyway, I like getting the groove. Right. And it's like this creative thing is just going right. and going and going. And it's like, oh man, you get that one idea. It's like, ah, oh, I got to get this last piece done. So what are you working on, Tim? I'm working on a number of things, but uh, that I'm really, really excited about. I've been, um, you know, this year I've been, you know, doing a lot of research and I've been um, kind of filling up, filling the the quiver with arrows, you know, with some new arrows. Um, uh, I've been doing a lot of stamp work. I've been doing um, a lot of jewelry work. But the thing that I'm really excited about is I'm doing a collaborative piece. First time I've ever done a collaboration. Oh, and I, cool. I know. And I'm doing it with Glenda McKay, who you oh, know who Glenda. that is. Love Glenda. I know, right? Gotta love me some Glenda. So we're actually, we're actually doing, um, we're actually doing a, a collaborative piece for the competition at the herd. She's such a wonderful friend. I mean, they, you know, she's family. Right. And we've been talking about it for about, I don't know, we've been talking about it for about three years. And uh, we finally just said, up, oh, yeah, it's time. Now we got to do it. Right. So, so it's going to be, it's going to be fun. And is um, she stationed here in Santa Fe? Yeah, she's there in Santa Fe. Oh, 
that's so nice. she's done she's done some carvings that um yeah they might be here already they're supposed oh. to be here today oh that's cool yeah you know, so then i get to design around them and so yeah so i've been doing a lot i've been doing a lot in the jewelry studio and um because up until now it's been too cold to be in the flute studio mm. but i will get back uh i've got some projects that have started in there and uh i'm designing a new old time flute yeah that those are always fun for me i love those you know, because it's, it's going to be an old looking flute and it's going to be, it's going to have that old sound, but it's going to be a contemporary tuned. So Tim, what kind of, um, what is your experience with your collectors? Where are your collectors from? All over? All over the world. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't think of a continent that I don't have a collector. <laughs> That's so yeah. Funny. Other than Antarctica. <laughs> You know, who does, right? Well, it might freeze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, really everywhere. And and interestingly enough, um, I am enjoying some new collectors this year. One of the things that I did that really helped my business plan a lot, I think, this year, <clears throat> and I think you and I, you and I may have already talked about it, but when the virtual market came around for Santa Fe, Mm -hmm. um you know we didn't you know i mean artists didn't know any more than swaya how it was all gonna go right right and so um i tried to switch my way of thinking to trying to capture a new audience that i wouldn't have the opportunity to at a live market mm. you know there's so many artists and and everybody's great and there's only so much time. Right. And people tend to seek out their favorite artists, you know, to get to pick out, you know, that one or several pieces that they want to collect that year. And so I decided that I was going to try and, and figure out how to get on, uh, capture a new audience rather than worry about sales. Let me collect people, you know, uh, and, and I think it's, it changed, you know, it changed the whole mood. Um, it became, it's pretty, pretty technical, really, you know, during the search engine optimizations and building the new website, you know, in the space that, that you guys provided for us, you know, which has been great. And Artspan has been fantastic to work with. Um, I've expanded, you know, beyond what was the package that Swaya provided um and i've gotten into analytics and you know and and um actually i just i have a contract sitting here on my desk that's ready to be signed i am actually um hiring a social media consultant well, very cool um it's it's hard to let go of the money it's really hard especially this time right but you have to look, you go, it all goes back to that time, that time thing, right? We only have so much time. And the way that the algorithms change and hashtags and the importance of where they're placed and, and promotion and all of this, it changes. And by the time that I can get around to the front of it again, mm -hmm. I've wasted a lot of time. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, and I think and, it's really smart. I, I, you know, just even in reference to what we're doing, like we can't do it all. We have to have people who have specific roles and they all really play do. into each other, right? But yeah, I think that's really super smart um, because one of the things I'm finding, Tim, also, aside from you doing that is that we really have to meet the artist in their marketplace. And sometimes that is just social media. And yep. so I love that. But you know, the beautiful thing about, about Swaya and, and, and the community of artists that we represent, right? The cool thing is, is that Swaya can utilize us to help create a sub-brand of Swaya artists, right? Because most of us are on social media. Mm -hmm. So if we have a sub-brand or if we have um, 
a set of hashtags or we have right. whatever it is, right? right? That we can all use, that we can all use all the time. That creates a sub-brand. Right. And it's a platform that can immediately be so wide and so effective in so many different ways because we all have different clients. Mm -hmm and collectors and organizations that follow us, you know, and, and even, even suppliers, we spend a tremendous amount of money on, on supplies and art and stones and, and metals and wood. And, you know, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And so if, if we, if, if we're, if we, if we're smart and we utilize all the tools that we have already at our hands, there, it's right there and it's free. We can create a wave that um, will just make us unstoppable from not just 2021, not just when the market's open, right? but, the, but a brand that becomes recession proof, mm. you know, and I, and I really think that um, with Swaya's help mm. and with, and with the community help amongst the artists, if we can all get on the same page, we really can create uh, a recession-proof business model for all of us. It's definitely a time for that kind of collaboration. You know, I feel like there's at every level, right? It doesn't matter if it's, I need supplies or, okay, maybe I should get online. Oh, I think I'm going to develop a website. I mean, all of those things, they continue to be fresh things that we're dealing with. It's not like we arrive and nor do I feel like we need to be that organization where we feel like we've arrived. There's so much innovation right. occurring right now that um, it's, it's really exciting. Well, you know, you think about where we've evolved in the last hundred years of mm -hmm. SWIA, right? right? I mean, there's been huge, there's been huge involvement and, and, and I, and I, Kim, you're so right. We can't sit back and say we've arrived. Right. You know, the world is changing. And, and if we think about as a people, what we've endured to, to, to be here today, you know, talking over a computer, what? <laughs> you know, I mean, that we take for granted all these little things now, right? But there's always going to be change. There's always going to be the next uh the next hiccup you know the next pandemic the next recession the next this the next that and so we have to prepare for that and and the way that we do that is the reason that we got where we are today and the reason that we continue to evolve and move forward is because we because we're more powerful as a community mm -hmm. a community is more powerful than an individual Mm -hmm. And, and, and when we, and, and when community becomes important, when be, community becomes the number one collaborator, right? Mm -hmm. If we work together as a hive mind, then we're all going to move forward faster. Right. And, and we're going to protect ourselves against, you know, the unforeseen future. Right. Because we can't predict everything. Right. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So what else is going on with you, Tim, other than... Uh, I got a new puppy because of the pandemic. <laughs> she's she's becoming famous. So what's up next? You know, I just I just think that this is going to be a scenario where, well, so all of it takes time, right? And then there's contracts and things that had to be fulfilled regardless of pandemics and stuff like that, right? Well, so I was fortunate that um, a lot of those things were easy for me to transition into. For me, Tim, this pandemic has been a blessing in disguise in that sense, because it allows me to do those things and um, right. not have to be worrying about an event. So um, that's been nice. That's been very nice. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely, I mean, I, I don't, I obviously, I don't know the ins and outs of, of SWIA or their accounting and things like that, but right. I mean, you know, you have such a small staff, right? With, right. <laughs> People think that SWIA is this, you know, and it is, it's a huge organization, but it's comprised of members, not so much, not so much um, uh, employees. And, right. you know, it still blows me away the amount of work that y'all get done. Right. I mean, it's, it's, it's really, it's, 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 
Yes. Indian market, you know, I was getting emails back from, from Swaya at two o'clock in the morning, my time, oh, which yeah. makes it three o'clock there. And, you know, I would call the next day and I would say, you know, you could have waited. You could have waited till the next day. You know, if it's really important, I'll let you know. But get some sleep for God's sake. But truly, you're right. I mean, the staff is is bare bones. You know, I, I have five FTEs, full-time equivalents. Right. But um, no, I, I really appreciate the staff because they're willing to pivot during this time. They're willing to um, learn, grow, be stretched. And so it's been, it's been a blessing for sure. Well, I can tell you that, I mean, I'm sure that I'm in touch with every one of them. Some of them more than others, of course, right. you know, but um, I mean, and, and I, and I always try and tell them, you know, how much I appreciate them because right. I know that, you know, even if you're throwing darts, sometimes you miss the dartboard. <laughs> you know but at least they're stepping up to the line and throwing a dart right you know i mean we got to try we got to try things that in a normal in a normal economy or a normal time you know we might think that oh that's crazy right you know i've been i I've, I've been spending also a lot of time you know on the phone with people you know hey yeah. how do we how do we position ourselves to come out of this mm -hmm. you know what do we think is going to happen when shows start, what are people going to want? You know, what price point of jewelry do galleries need? Mm. You know, and how can we, how can we, again, prepare for, because it's crazy enough. It's going to be, a, it's going to be another transition to go back into this. And, and to think that it's going to get back to whatever normal is, you know, what it used to be. Mm -hmm. It's never going to be, mm. it's never going to be, you know, tomorrow is never what yesterday was. Mm. It's yeah. just not. And, and so we have to um, position ourselves to, to, to um, be able to capitalize on it. Thank you so much, Tim, for the conversation. I think that this was a breath of fresh air for me, just because your curiosity is probably the curiosity of many artists and, um, I, I've just enjoyed the opportunity to share like what we're doing and where we're going. So I appreciate that. It's exciting times. It is. You know, we can get bogged down or we can look forward and get excited. That's and true. I choose to be excited. I choose to move forward. So and, I, and I hope the rest of the community is that way because let's get ready to go. Yeah. I'm, ti I'm tired of this. I want to be ready. <laughs> Kim, I appreciate you so much. Thank appreciate you. your staff thank you for uh, you know letting me come on and thank you, you know all right it's so we'll great to see you and i just appreciate you tim and good luck to you in the 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 you're going to a physical market yay two of them two of That's them 10 days apart i gotta awesome. be it i gotta be in phoenix one weekend 10 days later i gotta be in great falls montana wow what that's I'm going to look like I'm going to be the only red snowman in Montana. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. I appreciate you. All right. So good to see you. Stay safe. I will. You too. You Thank too. You. Thank right. you. Bye, Bye Kim. Bye.